Yeah, sure. Congratulations, mate. Um, you run us through the night for you and and how it all sort of played out. Yeah, pretty um, outrageous, really. Um, didn't really, wasn't really expecting too much to be honest. Going in, um, was hopeful for you know a bit or two maybe if if possible, but yeah, then it sort of got a bit out of control really. Um, you know, obviously, luckily enough, there was a couple of teams there doing a bit of bidding, and um, yeah, like I said, it was pretty amazing to go that high in the end. So, so when did the IPL come a, a, an option for you? I suppose at what stage of your career did you think, yeah, I might be able to have a crack at this? Uh, I'm not sure, really. Obviously, you know, every cricketer dreams of playing in the IPL. It's probably the the premier T20 comp in the world, so it's where all the best players go and. You know, you always want to play against the best players. So I think, you know, it's obviously a pinnacle of T20 cricket. So as soon as you're playing professionally, you know, you're, you're aiming for that. Thanks, mate. John, over on the SBS crew, do you want to jump in? G'day, Riley. Congratulations, mate. Uh, just, just quickly, uh, Jai talked about finding it hard to get to sleep after. There's all the excitement going through. But what was, how did you sleep last night? And also... Were you uh, surprised to see some, some of the bigger Australian names that didn't make the cup? Yeah, for sure. I was the same as Jai. Um, probably only got a few hours sleep. Um, I was on um, FaceTime with my girlfriend at the time and, you know, who was just absolutely couldn't believe what was happening. It was, it was like it was, it was fake, to be honest. Um, we were both pretty dumbfounded and, yeah, it was, it was a pretty long night. But, yeah, obviously pretty surprised. A lot of Aussie players didn't get picked up. Um, you know, especially like guys like Finchie, who is, you know, one of the best T20 batters in the world. Um, and, yeah, obviously I was, got pretty lucky on the day. Andrew McGlashan. Thanks, Lucy. Um, hi, Riley. What does it just feel like to now be the most expensive uncapped player uh, internationally in, in IPL history? There's been some long list of names uh, in that. How, how does it feel to be top of that list now all of a sudden? Yeah, it's pretty surreal, to be honest. Um, I just feel pretty lucky, to be honest. Um, you know, as I said, I wasn't really expecting expecting to go that high at all. Um, I was grateful to get to get one bid. So, you know, to get to go that high is it's unbelievable. And, and I'm really grateful to, to um, Punjab for, for bidding for me. And obviously, it's sort of the money values which everyone latches onto today. But actually, from a cricketing point of view, how exciting is it to now have this opportunity to develop your game in the conditions you'll um, you'll come across in India? Yeah, it's really exciting. I'm I'm really keen to go over there. Um, I've never been over there, so you know, it's always nice to go to new places and and play cricket at new places. So you know, I'm sure it'll be a, a learning curve, but you know, I'm really looking forward to it and hoping to grab it with both hands. Thanks, Riley. No worries. Thanks, Andrew. Brett Stubb, over to you. Riley, congratulations. Um, I'm just wondering what the, the figure means to you now and what it means for your lifestyle. Have you had a chance to think about, you know, the impact on you it's going to have? Not really, to be honest. Obviously, it's um, it's pretty unbelievable. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure, to be honest. It's still quite hard to fathom, really, that what's happened. Um, but, yeah, I'm sure... You know, I won't, won't change too much, but, you know, it's, yeah, it's, it's hard to comprehend, really. Um, I haven't really thought about it too much. I, I know you touched on it earlier, but I was just wondering, is there any sort of awkwardness, you know, yourself and Jai and Glenn had very successful nights, and then there's guys like Ben McDermott and Matt Wade and Aaron Finchard you mentioned who, who miss out. Is there any awkwardness for you guys around those guys now? Or? Um, not really. Obviously, you know, really disappointed for... For Ben and Matt, obviously, two Hobart boys as well. And, you know, they're two unbelievable players who, you know, could have easily been picked up for, for, you know, decent prices. So, you know, really disappointed for those guys. But at the end of the day, you're just, just happy for each other. And, you know, I'm sure they won't take it to heart or anything like that. Thank you. Thanks, Brett. Um, Riley, got a question from Kate here. Um, just back to this tour, just wondering how the team's feeling ahead of that first game on Monday. Yeah, obviously really excited. Um, boys have been in, in um, managed isolation for, for 12 or 13 days now, so we're really keen to get out and, um, you know, get some games in. So when that first game rocks around, everyone will be really excited. I'm sure there'll be a lot of energy on the ground and, you know, 
hopefully we can um, can get a win in this series. Perfect. Thank you. Lockie, over to you. Thanks, Lucy. Hey, Riley. Uh, it looked like Delhi were going pretty hard uh, for you at, during the auction. Um, Ricky Ponting, obviously the coach there. Had you heard from Punter at all before the auction and did you know whether he was keen? No, nothing. So, as I said, like, had absolutely no expectations going in and, you know, to see two two franchises bidding, it's pretty unbelievable um, and two, two great franchises, to be honest. So, it would have been great to go either, but, yeah, really happy to go to Punta. Job. And clearly the fast bowlers were fetching a lot of money last night and, and the tall fast bowlers. Were you kind of surprised how much money the likes of yourself, obviously Cole Jamison did very well as well, Chris Morris were going for? Yeah, I think um I think there was a bit of talk before the before the auction about you know fast bowlers being in a bit of demand this year. So obviously it was a good good time to um not not be um allocated to a franchise. So you know yeah it's Probably pretty lucky, bit of um, right place, right time about it. But yeah, really, really happy. Thanks, mate. Congratulations. Louis Cameron. Hi, Riley. I think I heard you mention before that you haven't played in India before. Have you Have you played in Asia? What's your kind of um, just general experience playing overseas, if at all? No, this will be the first time going to Asia at all. So, um, you know, it'll be really interesting to go over there. Um, you know, I'll speak to a lot of the guys and pick their brains about it, but, you know, I'm just really keen to go over there and, and give it all I can all I can give. Are there things that you've kind of picked up in the last, uh, I guess, maybe six to eight months? I, I know you're on that, that tour to England as well. Um, you know, obviously didn't play, but are there things that you're kind of picking up by being around um, the Aussie team? Yeah, for sure. Obviously, so many good players in Australian cricket and, and even in um, throughout the Big Bash career, you know, you're playing with different blokes from your state team. So, you know, you're getting different ideas, different coaches as well. So you're always getting different thoughts and, you know, you're learning so much throughout those times. It's, you know, you're only becoming a better player. Is there a slower ball or something that you've added to your repertoire? Yeah, I've got a couple that I'm working on at the moment. So hopefully I can add a couple more to my arsenal and, you know, a few more strings to my bow, I suppose as you'd say. Yeah, very good. And just on on uh, Jai before was kind of mentioning that he was furiously scribbling on a bit of paper trying to figure out what, you know, 14 lakh meant and, and all that kind of stuff. How did you um, kind of figure it out? Did you know what you were, what they were bidding, you know, what it was? Uh, yeah, sort of. I sort of had it up in a little, um, just in my internet on the phone, just found a little converter there. So I was actually doing it while Joel was um, getting, getting bitted off. I was trying to figure it out in time. So I was up past a million and then two million. And I was unbelievable. And then mine rolled around as well. It was, it was the same. So, yeah, pretty lucky. You have to check that you had the right amount of zeros in there. Yeah, I know. It's pretty crazy. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Thanks, Louis. Chris, over to you. G'day, Riley. Uh, congratulations, mate. Um, when you were, I guess, earned your first national uh, call up or squad selection, that must have been a pretty special day for you. How does I guess getting picked up by an IPL franchise and the money and the riches and the, and the fame, I suppose, that come with that compared to, to national selection. How do you compare and, and contrast the, the two feelings between those two achievements? Yeah, look, to be honest, it's probably the only thing that comes close to, um, you know, national selection, really. Um, as I said, it's the, the premier T20 um, competition in the world. So many great players playing, you know, the best in the world are there. So, you know, it's, just an honour to be a part of it, really, really, really keen to get in there. And I, and I suppose knowing what's now possible and the amount of, you know, sheer money that you can make um, playing in a competition like the IPL and playing T20 cricket, does it alter your future plans at all in terms of your red ball goals? And do you maybe shift things to a, a bit more of a white ball focus now, knowing the living you can make out of it? Not really. Um, obviously, as a cricketer, you, you want to be a three-format player. Um, and, you know, that's what I really aim to be. You know, I want to be be red ball, white ball, you know, all throughout the year, you know. I love the all formats. So, you know, it definitely doesn't shift my focus at all in that in that regard. Great. Thanks, Matt. Cheers. Thanks, Chris. Uh, Barat. 
uh, hey, Riley, I just wanted to uh, know if you, there are, you have any memories of watching the IPL. Of course, I expect you to say that Punjab has always been your favorite team. But uh, like, do you know anything about the setup? Have you been following their progress in the last few years? Have you tried to read up about them uh, and the place itself? A little bit, yeah. Obviously, as a cricket fan, you know, obviously watched the IPL for a few years now. Um, yeah, probably don't know, you know, heaps about Punjab or anything like that, but obviously had a couple of slim years the last the last few IPLs. So, you know, hopefully um, this year, you know, we can get back up the table and, you know, give it a good shake up. Andrew Wu. Yeah, you know, Riley, um, just wanted to ask, have you spoken to anyone from the franchise um, since, since the auction and what would they say to you and what you say to them? Yeah, well, we've got a um, message last night from K.O. Rahul, which was nice. Um, just, you know, wishing me good luck and, you know, that he's, he's excited to have me on board. And, you know, I was really thankful for that message. Um, that was pretty exciting. And anything from Shane Moore? He seems to be uh, one of your biggest fans. No, I haven't heard from Shane yet. So hopefully I'll get a message soon. Thank you. Brent, back to you. Looks like you've spent some of your money already buying a razor, mate. I just noticed the moustache <laughs> is gone. Can you run us through the decision to get rid of it? Yeah, I oh, don't know, to be honest. Um, I think it was just time to go. My girlfriend wasn't too happy with it, so, you know, so I've had to get rid of it. Fair enough, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Brent. Um, and Chris, we'll wrap up with you. No, Brent just stole my question. I wanted to know about the Mo as well. Uh, us Tassie boys must think alike. Thanks. <laughs> Too easy. Thanks, guys. Well, we might wrap it up there. Um, thanks, Riley, for your time. And thanks, everyone, for joining us. Um, we'll chat to you all soon. Sweet. Thanks, Thank everyone. You. Cheers. Thank, Thank you. you, Riley. Congrats. Thanks, Riley. Thanks, Lucy. Thanks, Riley.